the Function with Purpose podcast. All things health, wellness, fitness, and education with a physical therapy perspective. I am Dr. Amy Bullock, owner and founder of Fortress Physical Therapy. Fortress PT is here to serve the Charlotte metro area by highlighting the importance of how and why physical therapy should be a part of your health and wellness lifestyle. Here we go, episode five of season two of the FPT Function with Purpose podcast. Welcome everybody, Dr. Amy here. Hope everybody is having a lovely day, perhaps morning, afternoon, evening, or dusk, dawn. Okay, next episode, or this current episode, I want to talk about imaging. Imaging as in an x-ray, an MRI, perhaps an ultrasound, or a CT scan, also known as a CAT scan, and where that kind of fits within the realm of health and wellness and when, um, from a physical therapy perspective, imaging should be utilized. Um, I'm going to tell you a little story from an athlete of mine um, real quick as to uh, what she experienced and continues to seek services from this healthcare provider. Um, it, it really upsets me, to be honest. But uh, so one of my athletes, um, uh, she uh, was having some neck pain and getting some symptoms into her arms. So meaning some pain, perhaps some numbness and tingling. And she, she, based on her morphology and, and how she's built, she has a really long neck to begin with. And um, it appears a little bit more straighter just looking at her than what you would see in our quote-unquote normal population. So she went to a healthcare provider. I'm not going to say what type of healthcare provider it was. But, um, and they did an x-ray and compared an x-ray to a quote-unquote what a normal x-ray should look like of the neck with the appropriate curvature, appropriate spacing, etc. Now you guys don't have any visuals of this, but uh, so I'm trying to describe it as best as possible. So this healthcare provider proceeded to tell her, oh, this is your problem. Your neck is too straight. It's actually curved the other way. Instead of this nice little C curve, what we should a little bit see in a a normal neck curvature or spine curvature, it's reversed. So it's C curved the other way. And this healthcare provider proceeded to say, yeah, um, you're not allowed to lift your arms above your head anymore. Because this x-ray shows that your neck is super straight. And uh, yeah, you just shouldn't do it. So this athlete still continues to exercise, but she does not lift anything above her head at all whatsoever. So that makes me think, okay, you have young children. Do you lift them? Do you carry them? Um, You probably cook dinner. Uh, or clean the house where you might have to reach into a shelf and pick something off of a shelf, perhaps a book. That's reaching above your head. And unfortunately, this patient continues to see this healthcare provider based on what they told her and what she can't do, which is part of normal function as a human being to be able to lift our arms above our head. So, just to set you some tone about today's topic, I do not agree with that. Just getting a picture just for the heck of it without any insight to truly what perhaps may be going on with a patient is like shooting a bullet at a dart at, at a uh, bullseye 
with your eyes closed in a dark room. You're aiming to just base off chance. You're aiming blindly. So, needless to say, imaging within the healthcare field, it does have its, have its time and place, but I'm talking from a physical therapy perspective, a musculoskeletal perspective, that you are not your image, right? That picture in that particular point of time is just a picture. A picture is worth a thousand, a thousand words. Do you remember how you felt that day? Were you getting symptoms into your arm? Well, that's how God built you, with a straighter neck, right? So, if you have symptoms into your arms or hands or lack thereof, legs, hips, feet, it's super important to get a proper assessment. Because when I see patients and they come to me with symptoms into their arms or maybe into their shoulder, um, I always assess their neck because based on the anatomy and how we're built, the nerves in our neck control our arms and hands. So when patients come see me, even though they may not be experiencing neck pain or their neck, when I look at them, just looking at them standing, their neck is more straighter just by me looking at them. I don't need an x-ray for that. Doesn't mean that, oh, that's, that's the issue because of that patient's posture. No, I have to get in there and dig a little bit deeper. Why is this patient experiencing symptom into the shoulder or down the arms? So 90 or 95% of the time when patients come in and decide to seek physical therapy services, first, the issue at hand is very commonly musculoskeletal in nature, meaning muscles meaning how we're built, how, how, how God built us, right? So it's super important to assess that and assess the symptoms that the patient experiences or is currently experiencing. So that image of the neck does not 100% dictate your ability to perform basic human movement or activities of daily living yet alone exercising for health and wellness to create longevity. So as a clinician, as a healthcare provider, I don't, I don't truly need a, a picture of someone's neck if I'm assessing their shoulder or symptoms into their arm because I kind of act like a inspector gadget, as you can say. I got to dig deep as to the presentation of the symptoms that the patient is experiencing. How long has the symptom been there? Can you describe it for me? Is it sharp, shooting, dull, achy? Do you get numbness and tingling into the arm or hand? So there's too much talk and there's too much false hope that your image is who you are. Right? Your image is why you're getting symptoms into your leg or arm in this case. So it is very upsetting that overall in the world of healthcare, MRIs, x-rays, CT scans are being overutilized in situations where someone comes in with arm pain when it's hypothetically, most of the time, 90 to 95%, a musculoskeletal issue. But they haven't been assessed by a physical therapist who is perfectly capable of digging deeper to, to really figure out what's going on. So, when to get an image or MRI is if you really truly tried physical therapy, tried to change the pain, try to make it better, obviously, 
try to abolish that pain or numbness and tingling. If that has failed, then something else might be going on. Doesn't mean it's bad, but from a physical therapy point of view, we term this, or my thought processes on this is, okay, there's something uh, chemically that's going on. There's something inflammatory that's going on that might be upsetting the nerves in the neck, and it's causing symptoms down the arm. So by doing physical therapy, and maybe certain movements or applying some manual therapy, isn't, isn't cutting it. So that's when we may refer out to a physician who may prescribe some anti-inflammatories. Right? If anti-inflammatories don't hit it, or if steroids don't hit it, i.e. like prednisone, which is commonly prescribed, then the next step may be an image to dig a little bit deeper. Right? We'll talk about that on a different episode. But to reiterate, a picture of your neck or your spine, specifically to this episode, does not 100% dictate your ability to perform basic human movement. Clinicians or healthcare providers should not tell you to not do something because they haven't really fully assessed you. And that's where physical therapy steps in. We need to find a good physical therapist who is a good investigator to figure out truly what is going on with your arm pain or numbness and tingling. Right? Because the patient has the answer. You just need someone who knows how to investigate and knows how to truly listen. So if you're in the South Charlotte area, reach out to Fortress Physical Therapy. I'd be glad to help you guys out. Even if you're not in the South Charlotte area, send me a direct message on social media. I, I know some people. I have some connections around the States and even over on the other side of the world a little bit. Physical therapy is direct primary care. Know that help is out there. That's a wrap for today's episode, Function with Purpose podcast. For more information on this episode, check out the show notes within your podcast app. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, or drop your comments and questions below. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Thanks for the listen. Pursuit, precision, purpose.